setting your autoresponder app for opt-ins, okay? So basically all you do, you go to your broadcast autoresponder. And here, as you can see, this is where you put your signature. So your signature should be, you know, like your address, your business address, ways for people to contact you. So obviously, if you're, if you're promoting something or you're running a business, you should, you know, if you believe in what you do is 100% right, you should have no problems in giving your details to your subscribers so they can contact you whenever they need to contact you or send you emails. So you can put that information here. Now, I recommend you not to copy, uh, you know, what, you know, like Aweber, you know, get response, other emails that you can get from other marketers because what happened is if they get spam and you're using exactly the same type of signature, chances are you're going to get spam too. Okay, so try to come up with your own thing, use your own address, you know, be realistic. You know, if you what you're promoting is something you believe on, you really need to die for, then, you know, don't, you should have no problem filling this, this space here. And as you can see, it's pretty much just like creating a WordPress post or, you know, setting up a, your page. You basically get the same features, the ad media, you can send videos, you can see there videos, audio, images, so basically... You got everything just like uh, setting up a WordPress post. Now, the next step is we need to set up the cron job. Now, the cron job is what's going to run on the background. It's going to, you know, keep checking every time someone signs up. Then he sends them the confirmation email and a double opt-in email, which they have to confirm that they want to subscribe to your list. Okay. Now, to do this, one of the things you got to need is in the PDF, after you uh, subscribe as one of our paid members to one of to one of our the two paid package we have is web hosting you're gonna need your username that's the only thing you're gonna need from is your username from your cpanel and obviously you're gonna have to log into cpanel to set the cron job this is very very simple although it seems like a big thing it isn't trust me it's just a few clicks and you're done so you're gonna need the username and you're gonna need to click so basically click on the cron job here and then you click cron jobs section so right click and open in a new tab okay so we open this in a new tab because we're just going to copy what's been given to us here okay so it's not this one so what we want is click here again and basically you want to copy this one here okay copy that and you're gonna open Say so open your uh, notepad, or other, if you prefer to work here, open or something different. And here, okay, that's where you're going to put your username. Okay, at this moment I'm just going to put crosses there, but that's where you're going to put your username. And you copy this again. Okay. Now we're going to go to your cPanel, and now we're going to log in. As you log in into your cPanel, you're going to scroll down where it says cron jobs, okay? You click on that, click on it, and here you're going to enter the email that you want to be notified every time the cron job is running. So you can see my email is set there, but that is actually the email of my main website. So I wanted this email to actually be um, the email of, of my WordPress site where I'm installing the, the autoresponder as well. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to find the email that I'm using here. Just going to go to settings in general. I'm just going to copy my email here. So I'm actually covering this because it's today. Then I'm going to go back to my notepad. I'm going to copy the cron job command. And I'm going to enter here. Okay, and what you want to do is basically instead of setting individually, you can set them individually by just using one of those drop down options, or you can just use one of the presets which are already selected here. Uh, twice an hour that's your best bet is to get to check twice an hour or even longer because you don't want to be sending emails to people too, too much. Okay, 
And so this is no, you know, it's not just because it's putting a lot of loads on the service because sometimes people don't like to receive emails from you every day like most people do. It's quite annoying. So if you are a subscriber to someone, who emails to you every day, sometimes more than once a day, you, you get annoyed and eventually you, you unsubscribe. So treat others how you, how you would like to treat yourself, okay? Now, we just go here twice an hour, okay? And add new cron job so once you did that cron job is created okay it's the last one here see the one with the crosses it's the last one here now that that is done now we move to the next stage of setting up the autoresponder so let's go here to back to the autoresponder options so there you go so you go your signature your cron jobs is done we'll leave that as it is uh, you can leave this blank as it is okay because as um, if you want to start a package basically we don't give you anything more than we then what is already explained here, which is about 100 emails a day. And emails to send out one, just leave blank. Uh, the key, public key, and that, it really doesn't matter, because we're using uh, a different form, so we'll talk about the forms later. And that's fine, and that's fine. And here is your, uh, you know, please confirm more email. So this is always a peer as a part so here you may want to add more content to it so you know let people know where they subscribe uh, the website address so you know uh, so they know what they're getting this this uh, uh, confirmation request from okay and pretty much is this this is this done once you're done you save all options okay and now the autoresponder is ready to to start sending emails and uh, opt-in confirmations etc double opt-ins now the next step we're going to go to mailing list and we're going to look at uh, post dating um, emails so basically campaigns and stuff like that so you can send the email straight after people sign up or you can send it three days time so we'll talk about this next week.